Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome to my channel, La Brico Luz. I first saw Buntal Straw mentioned in contemporary millinery social media groups. I guess it was the spring of 2020, sort of concurrent with the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. I was really intrigued by the material because it came in such bold colors and intricate patterns like this houndstooth check. As a theatrical milliner, I've worked with many types of straw, sisal, parasisal, raffia, straw braid, even types of straw like polypropylene braid. So I thought I'd get some buntal and try it out. In this video, I'll tell you how I made this hat. Buntal straw is woven from the fibers of a palm plant, native to the Philippines and other Southeast Asian countries. Buntal straw is sold in cartwheel hat bodies, but it's also sold in these round mats that measure between 12 and 23 inches in diameter. At present, only a couple of vendors sell these to the millinery market. This is the equipment I assembled to work with my buntal mat. A round crown hat block, a sprayer full of water, and a steam iron. I dampened my mat with a couple of pumps from the water sprayer, and then used a drafting pin to align the center of the mat's weave pattern with the center of my crown block. I then pulled the mat down smoothly over the dome of the block and secured it with a blocking elastic and several pins. I then applied three coats of stiffener to the crown of the hat and used a yellow wax pencil to mark out where I wanted to cut the brim down to. Look closely at the weave of this straw and you'll notice that the fibers are quite thin. So you want to stay stitch about a quarter of an inch to the inside of the line on which you want to cut down your brim. Here you can see that line of stay stitching in black thread along the cut edge of my buntal mat. If you want to adjust the curvature of your brim, you can carefully adjust the tension of that stay stitch before you cut down your brim edge. Next, I used that cut off strip of straw to create a couple of samples in order to determine how I wanted to finish and stabilize the edge of my hat. In this case, I decided to go with the top sample, which is folded back on itself around a piece of nylon brimlock. Here's the hat with the brim edge finished. You could also use this technique with millinery wire instead of nylon brimlock. Here's another view to show the slight amount of curvature imparted by the adjusting of the tension on my stay stitching. For a sleek finish of that cut edge, I ran a line of white glue along the cut fibers. The water-based glue dries clear and imparts some stability. After the glue had dried, I set in my interior grow grain and trimmed the hat in these two widths of black ribbon to create a chic millinery style. So if you've made straw hats out of sisal and parasisal hat bodies, take the plunge and give Buntal a try. It's lovely to work with and I look forward to using it in future hat projects for the theater where I work.